Now we're ready to go to emulsions. <clears throat> Types of emulsions, diazo. This doesn't really, uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here. Diazo was the original emulsion for years. Uh, you just poured a sensitized in there and used it. Uh, it was acceptable. We still sell a diazo emulsion, uh, just a basic cheap emulsion. Now we go to dual cure. Now what dual cure means is that emulsion already has part sensitizer in it. We add the second part and it's ready to use. Uh, you combine the pre-sensitized ingredients with the diazo sensitizer offers a very wide exposure latitude. It gives a better, more durable stencil than early diazo emulsions. The trick, it only has about a four week shelf life. Now I used about a gallon every three or four days with Harley Davidson, so I didn't have a problem with that. One thing I do like about Dual Cure, this is the one I recommend to everybody, has a very wide exposure latitude. You can underexpose or overexpose. Uh, if you, uh, had a little bit of problem trying to pick up all your dots, you'll underexpose the screen somewhat. With, with dual cure emulsion, that allows you to do that. Okay, you wash it out, you can get it all, all uh, processed and everything, and you can either post cure it or put it out in the sun, and that'll complete the cycle. Again, four week shelf life. Um, I wish they had some notice on these things. Emulsion is like you. It likes to be between 40 and 60, I mean, um, 60 and 80 degrees. You start getting really, really hot, it just kills it. 100 degrees, you might as well forget it. So if you do leave that in the garage, um, it's probably going to shorten the, the shelf life considerably. Again, 60 to 80 degrees. If you can just keep it in that, that uh, temperature range, you're going to be fine. Now we move to the pure photopolymer, the SBQs. These are ready to go right out of the container. You just take them, coat the screen. The emulsion is pre-mixed. Now, the beauty on this emulsion, it has a shelf life of up to one year. However, the exposure has to be dead on. You, you know, you're not gonna underexpose whatever. This has to be dead on. Uh, it's more expensive than the other emulsions. Um, I don't push it simply for that reason. Um, the dual cure does a beautiful job. Finally, we go to a capillary film, and this works real well for a lot of beginners. It's actually uh, a film emulsion that's on a carrier film, and it's a uniform film. So you could put it on several different meshes, and it'll work fine. Um, it's probably three to four times higher per screen than regular emulsions, so I kind of shy away from that for that reason when regular old dual cure emulsion works the best. Is that four week shelf life after you mix it? After you have sensitized it, absolutely. It'll last a good while, however, you know, you, you want to keep it in that range, you know, that 60 to 80 if you can, you know. Um, too many people don't realize how sensitive that is, you know. You got 50 bucks there, you know, in that emulsion, you know, so it's worth keeping, keeping it uh, good. Yes? Um, do you have any tips for applying the capillary film to your screen? We can go, the, the question was capillary film application. I can get you some information on that. Are you having certain problems with the... Uh, Mm -hmm. so. Was that after you exposed it you had the problems or? Okay. That's another thing too that uh, I've noticed with capillary film is uh, it has to be stored in a, you know, in a, in a controlled environment. I've had a lot of people that just keep it out in the warehouse, you know, where it gets 100 degrees and that can be a problem. And it has a shelf life also. But uh, um, no, we can help you with that. I can get you some tech info on it. What do you use to, to prep your screen with before you uh, apply it? Um, as far as the heat research? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I do have a CCI. Oh, okay. Uh, when I did that, I didn't have that. I used um, That's such a big part of it. And see, was it the Yolano Easy Film or? No, uh, I don't know what it was. Okay. Well, one thing that, that Yolano has, and they make most of the capillary films, 
is they have some chemicals that prep the screen and it actually, uh, it actually preps it where the water will stay on there longer so when you apply the film it bonds better, you know, so that's, that's usually a big step there. Uh, prepping that screen before you put anything on is so important, you know. <coughs> yes, sir? Well, I've actually had people, and in Texas it's, 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 it's bad, you know, we get print shops that are really hot. <clears throat> I have people that put it in the refrigerator. I don't recommend that at all. You know, it's 40 degrees in there, okay? So you're bringing your emulsion down to 40 degrees. It's, it's so thick you can hardly even work with it. You know, you have to basically bring it back to room temperature, and I think you actually shorten the shelf life. So, uh, again, it can get 50 degrees, whatever, but, man, once you start getting really low near freezing, you're going to ruin it. And I just don't recommend putting it in the refrigerator. Find a place in your front office or someplace where, you know, it is 60 to 80 and leave it there. But refrigerators, I don't like. I've gone in and I've seen them in ice chest full of ice. You know, you're just ruining your emulsion. Is there a way to tell once it goes? Once it's, usually, it's usually really, really thick. You know, that's the first thing I've noticed a lot of it. You know, when you first open it and it's nice and fluid, you know, that's what you want. And again, every, every time that you get ready to, in the morning, so you know, when you get your, your emulsion out, you need to agitate it, start some, you know. Just, just enough to, to loosen it up some, but if it's really, really thick, it's probably no good. 